Which role should you buy first in Red Dead Online? Before Blood Money update, most players would give you the same answer to this question. It should be Bounty Hunter role. And there were actually some good reasons for this, but Blood Money update came out and changed it. At least this update achieved something. But anyway, now the answer to this question is not so obvious, and just like in many cases, it will depend on your personal preferences. And there are some solid arguments for each out of 5 roles to be the first. One. Now we're gonna talk about pros and cons of each role in Red Dead Online and you will decide which one you should choose as a beginner. Let's start with the Moonshiner role. Yes, you can buy Moonshiner role without buying Trader role, you always could. Originally to purchase Moonshiner role you needed to have level 5 in a Trader role or complete one Trader delivery, with your friend for example, even without owning a Trader role yourself. Now from what I tested, this trick with delivery is not working, but you can go to menu, progress, roles, go to moonshiner and game will offer you to unlock this role for extra 5 gold bars. And after doing that you will be able to buy moonshiner role for 25 gold bars, which is a lot actually, with this extra 5 gold bars it will be 30 gold bars for a role. And that's the biggest reason not to choose moonshiner role as your first role, because for that amount of gold you can buy two different roles, for example bounty hunter and collector. On the other hand, and Moonshiner role has some solid benefits that no other role has in Red Dead Online. First of all, it's the only role that has story. Yes, it's not that big, only 5 missions. And they're really good from both gameplay and storytelling perspective. It's like a really interesting chain of side quests in Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode. And unfortunately, we cannot tell the same about anything else in Red Dead Online. I mean, Land of Opportunities is not that good and it's unfinished. Spoiler. So if you're looking for some storytelling, for some adventure of such type, that's your only option in Red Dead Online. Moonshine and Roll also have another huge benefit. It's the closest you can get to passive income in Red Dead Online. All you need to do to earn money is to spend like one minute to set up the production and 48 minutes later spend another five minutes to deliver all this moonshine. That's it. Easy money. Your profit will be around 170 dollars for six minutes of work, that's extremely good and not only for beginners. Yes, you will need to make some investments first, buy business upgrades, but in many roles you need to spend money to earn more money later. Anyway, since Moonshiner business is so close to the passive income, you can perfectly combine it with many other activities in Red Dead Online, including blood money missions, stranger missions, completing daily challenges or just riding around and enjoying the beauty of this world. You know, all that stuff that beginners are usually doing. And later you will easily combine Moonshine role with pretty much any other role that you will buy. Anyway, now let's move to the second option, Bounty Hunter role. Here we have some obvious arguments. First of all, Bounty Hunter role is the only role in which you will be earning gold bars. And yeah, in all roles you will be earning gold indirectly by completing role daily challenges or by earning experience and receiving treasure maps each 5 levels. But with Bounty Hunter role you will be earning gold directly by completing missions. And it's a huge advantage, because gold is a premium currency in Red Dead Online, it's really hard to get, but you need it to buy some cool cosmetics and other roles. On the other hand, with Blood Money update, new players received some pretty good way of earning gold and money and experience without buying any roles. I'm talking about blood money missions, they will bring you exactly the same amount of gold as any bounty hunter role missions, and pretty much the same amount of money and experience as regular bounty hunter missions. By the way, there are some other good options as well, like telegram missions, tough business telegram missions and even call to arms, but only if you have a posse or at least like few friends. And all these activities, in my opinion, are more interesting than regular bounty hunter missions, because there you will be just tracking some bounty for like 5 minutes is pretty tedious. Not with all bounty targets, but quite often. On the other hand, there are some cool activities for bounty hunter role as well, I'm talking about legendary bounty missions and infamous bounty missions. They are really fun and pay pretty well, especially legendary bounty missions. However, you will need to purchase prestigious bounty hunter license for another 15 gold bars to get a 
synopsis to infamous bounty missions and as for legendary bounty missions now they have a free alternative i'm talking about opportunity missions that came out with blood money update for completing opportunity missions you will earn pretty much the same amount of money and gold as for completing legendary bounty missions yes unfortunately you will need to pay the stupid capitale to even start such opportunity mission but as a new player you will probably still be grinding blood money missions at least in my opinion it will be a good choice for a beginner yes we have a lot of different legendary bounty missions and only three opportunities so far but again they are free overall these blood money missions contracts and opportunity missions look like a free version of bounty hunter role to me but bounty hunter has some additional bonuses like bolas and improved lasso that you can use in pvp actually by the way there is even some pvp mechanic in this role you will be able to capture players who have high bounty on their heads from my experience everyone ignores this because payout is pathetic but still also by leveling up bounty hunter role you will unlock some good improvements and the most importantly some awesome cosmetics obviously it's my personal opinion but to me bounty hunter role has the coolest cosmetics and clothing among all the roles toro good for example is one of my favorite outfits in red dead online anyway as you can see there are still a lot of reasons to purchase bounty hunter role as your first one but i repeat it was much more obvious choice before blood money update now let's move to our next possible choice the naturalist role the price is pretty high here 25 gold bars but you definitely should buy this role first if you love to sedate and do something weird with the sleeping animals okay it doesn't sound like a good reason but i have another one you definitely need to buy naturalist role first if you want to seem for a crazy woman who's not taking shower like ever and spraying you with some neurotoxin and you cannot find such person in real life in that case we have a perfect npc in red dead online for you but you will need to buy naturalist role first actually i don't see any other reasons to choose naturalist as your first role because you know money for sedating animals are not that great you don't really need legendary animals if you don't have a trader role and don't have a lot of money to make all these outfits yeah fast travel from wilderness camp is kind of useful but it costs a lot of money and it's definitely not the first thing that new players should buy in red dead online with that being said let's move to the next more interesting choice trader role first of all it's a good choice for you if you enjoy hunting in red dead redemption 2 we will need to hunt a lot to make money and by the way some good money again just like with the moonshiner we will need to invest into improvements bigger trader delivery wagons but after that money will be good especially for long distance deliveries also there are some elements of passive income in a trader role because while creeps will be producing goods we can do some other stuff including blood money missions for example additionally you will be able to buy moonshiner role as the second one and you can combine these two roles together perfectly but to be honest you can combine moonshiner role with pretty much any other role perfectly but the biggest benefit of a trader role might not be actually too attractive for some players because trader is the most social role in red dead online if you grind alone you will make some decent money but if you will find other players in a clan or in a discord and play with them other traders you will make so much more money they will help you with deliveries you will help them with their deliveries and each time you gonna get paid plus weirdly enough trader is the most pvp focused role in red dead online you can attack other players who are making long distance deliveries steal their wagons and receive materials and obviously when you're making a long distance delivery yourself you should be worried about other players because they might want to attack you as well so trader role has the highest level of social interactions in the game for many players it will be a good thing but there are also players who prefer to play alone and they will not get maximum out of a trader role but there is a perfect choice for players who prefer to play solo as well i'm talking about collector role let's take a look at the advantages of choosing a collector role as your first role in red dead online the most important benefit you will be making tons of dollars and experience points from the very beginning you don't even need to buy improvements such as shovel and metal detector just 
just purchase the roll and immediately after that you can start collecting tarot cards and making some good money. Just don't forget to use interactive Red Dead Online map. Link to more detailed explanation will be in the description. But anyway, from the very beginning with the help of collector's roll you can start making some unachievable for beginners amount of dollars and experience points per hour. And it's obviously good because as a new player you will be always short on money. There are so many things that you need to buy. Experience is also extremely important because a lot of useful things like pamphlets, ability cards and weapons are only available on a certain level. And let's not forget that each 5 levels we are receiving a treasure map, it's an easy money and gold. The next reason to choose collector as a first role is that it will show you the strongest side of this game, the best part of Red Dead Online. And let's be honest, it's not combat mechanics and by the way other roles don't include too much shooting as well. Even bounty hunters, there will be a surprisingly small amount of shooting even for that role. Anyway, the strongest side of Red Dead Online, at least in my opinion, is its beautiful world. It's immersive, gorgeous, sometimes unpredictable, you just want to be there and explore it. And if you will be farming collector role, you will have to visit all the corners of the map, all the hidden places. Some people are finding this type of a gameplay boring and tedious, but I personally call it immersive and relaxing. And if something can make a new player to fall in love with Red Dead Online, it's probably gonna be a world itself. Another argument for picking the collector role first is, it perfectly can be combined with blood money missions grind. It should look something like this, you get in the objective, but instead of completing the mission immediately, you are looking for collectibles in nearby area, until it will be 12 minutes exactly since the beginning of the mission. In this way you will receive maximum amount of gold per minute, some good money and you will find collectible items. It's probably the best way to grind money and gold at the same time for beginners, again accept call to arms if you have a posse. Actually if I was starting a new character today I would definitely choose this method of grinding. But what do you think, which role is the best for beginners, which role people should buy first in Red Dead Online? Let me know in the comments, but please give your arguments. In any way, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, до свидания.